Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Kaiser, right guys? Another let's let us continue on from where we last left off. So the Russians are starting to lose ground against White Withania, Baltic Duchy. But over here in the west, we're doing a pretty, pretty solid job, if I do say so myself. And we should, I mean we're actually already at half Hamburg, we should be able to take uh, Kiel soon as well. Maybe send some troops push away into another, uh, into uh, to Denmark and take over Copenhagen, capitulate them. All that seems pretty good to us. We're also sending some units over to uh, these territories here because, of course, the uh, the Ottomans have decided to naively invade us, which is a little bit rude to do. But you know, it it is what it is. And I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, could you attack here and then move your way straight into um, Berlin? You probably could. Again, I don't know why there's like this uh, visual glitch where the guys are not actually marching forward. Not that it's a huge concern. And while these guys are up here, we also have our troops ready to move their way into Budapest and try to capitulate the Austro-Hungarian Empire as fast as humanly possible. Because once you're dead, our position does get significantly stronger. Okay, so you guys are moving up here. Uh, follow those guys. You might actually be able to get... Okay, I was going to hope that maybe you'd be able to get the, uh, the overrun benefit, but unfortunately not. What if you were to go around like this, into Kiel? Could make something good happen there. You guys are not actually making any progress. And I still want one of you, of course, to be staying over here, just in case there's more naval invasions. I mean, the game says that there is the risk of it, so I, you know, I don't want to... completely throw everything away. I think our entire navy is going to get completely sunk. But that's kind of fine. Um, how... 150. Yeah, let's send more planes to you. Our operative in Germany has been captured. No, we captured a German operative. Fantastic. So we'll send you to Berlin. I'm going to send you then to... Why not say Prague? That seems like an okay choice. And with seven divisions. I mean, Budapest... What we actually probably want to do is push our way here. And do something like that. Surround the city. And we also don't want to be taking a river crossing when we push into the... Uh, into Budapest itself. 59. What front are you on? You are here. You guys. What if you attack your way into Lubeck? You come here and assist in that invasion. Unfortunately, you don't know. You probably actually still push your way this way. I, I think that's still fine. We're very, very, very close to Berlin. And we've taken over most of Germany's major cities. I know they still have a handful closer to the Russian front. But again, what? Did we not have Munich before? I guess we've lost Munich, which is a little bit of a shame. But... You know, here we are. Could send troops down there to try to uh, secure that position. But it might be a little bit uh, unlikely for now. Actually, I'll draw up an offensive line, like, say, right in front of Munich. So once all of this falls, you guys push away to here. Just so we can kind of take this land and also a few more victory points away from the Austrians. And we don't want... Do not go back there. Yeah, you guys go here. You guys go like this. You're marching your way up north. You both hold positions, actually, right now. I think we do want to be attacking all forces into Budapest right away. Uh, resource slot available. Let's go for... Yeah, we can probably go for more fuel gain per oil. It's not a bad choice for us, I think. Two, two, two. I think I want you guys pushing your way into Budapest right now. 37 is not the number that we want. We do, of course, I mean, we obviously want 100%, but... For right now, I think this is fine. Let's push your way to Rostock. You guys push here. You guys push here. See if you can, again... Constantly pressure these guys to make something work for us. Do we have any guns? We're missing 327, which really is not so bad. We could maybe, maybe start planning um to train up some more units. But I don't know what the likeliness of that actually happening are. You're probably going to lose this uh, front, which is a bit unfortunate. But actually, 1,700 rifles from the French. You know, could be uh, useful. Of course, we want to also make sure the Austrians are spread as thinly as they possibly can be because they don't have that many troops i think probably about 100 divisions again i'm looking at this i know that the international if they wanted to could just win this front 
if they were to throw everything they have, it's just like a constant attack, like right here or you know down towards Serbia. No matter what, I think we would be do pretty well. Do you think this one's actually falling back a little bit? Because I feel like we did have Würzburg at some point. But I'll, we'll, we'll take what we have right now. You're sending troops up towards the north. Let's put some pressure on you. Let's do like a last stand to make sure these guys do not fall back. Yeah, so send you guys to here. You will go down this way. I know you're going to be getting attacked, but it really shouldn't be a huge, huge deal. What about you guys? Well, one of you comes here to assist. We'll take over these regions. And that's like... Again, Budapest is the big prize here. Budapest and eventually Prague, of course, in the future. Um, did, actually, no, it's a yeah, Dutch... Or Dutch East Indies uh, vessel, so I don't really care too much about what's happening there. Okay, so we'll take out you guys. Okay, fantastic. We'll keep... Like, I want to apply more pressure here. But I don't know if it's going to succeed. Like, there's actually a lot of troops up towards Kiel. Which is a little bit worrying, I will admit. I do think that the Russians are starting to push back against Persia. Because, again, Russia having to open up all these fronts isn't great for them. How are you guys doing down here? You're doing all right. You guys did push here. If I attack you, would any of my allies join this fight? The answer is absolutely not. Kachin did capitulate. I have no idea who the hell that is. But apparently they've given up. We probably want to... I mean, we want to take these other areas. The problem, though, is that, like, all of this land, this whole thing is just Reich's Pact. Until we can get to the border of Russia... It's just Reich's Pact as far as the eye can see. We might even need to send more troops actually to the Italian border as well. Like, Italy's actually not been doing a fantastic job. Like, Germany right now, you have 324,000 manpower. You have, I don't think, any rifles still. You definitely don't have an artillery. Oh, you have a few hundred guns. Actually, 4,000. Which definitely is not enough for you. But it could be substantially worse. You know what? I'm, I'm going to not pull you guys back yet. I'm going to shrink your front line. Which is actually very difficult to do. Delete your front line. Draw a new front line basically like that. We really don't need these troops down here. Our international allies should be able to hold on to that front decently enough. That I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, let's get you guys to push into here. Any of you guys not... Okay, you guys are not actually part of any attack, so you can counterattack against these guys. You immediately counterattack against you, which should allow us to break through this province. We'll then do the exact same thing with you. And we can kind of keep following that, um, that plan. Yeah, just kind of keep pressing your way down south. I mean, there's no real major cities in the south right now. I guess there is, again, Munich. But the fact that we've already... I mean, we're not... We haven't already taken it, but we're close to taking it. What if all of you guys... You hold position for right now. If I were to maybe try to force attack my way through... Actually, what about air superiority? We do have air superiority. So, actually, it's not a huge problem here at all right now. Guess you're going to keep countering your way down towards the south. This should fall... You're going to fall. You press here and then press there. You press on this. What we want is you to move your way towards Berlin. I don't think taking Berlin is going to immediately be a victory. Like, I don't think we take Berlin and then the Rex back capitulates. But we're going to be closer then than we have been in the past. We're at 57. Like, I'm thinking about even doing a force attack against you. Of course, I would like all of our allies to send units in, but I don't know if they're actually going to do that or not. The fact that actually this front scares me a little bit. The fact that the Germans are pushing as far inland as they can. Yeah, 30, 84. Let's send a tank division in to assist. You guys did take back Lubeck, which is not great. We do want to take that city from you. 
Another naval invasion to the lowlands. I don't see where they would be landing, at least right now. But again, so long as you think Budapest, these guys immediately reposition. Like, once Budapest falls, there's no reason for them to stay. I think moving them to take Munich makes sense. Not enough British troops here. Like, I, I can see Britain has more men. And also, you do want Russia to eventually take over Copenhagen. But I mean, Russia's actually, like, starting to fall back. I mean, they're actually doing pretty well against Ukraine, but against White Bithynia, they have not been performing as well as I would want. Okay, after that, you guys are moving in. Yeah, do you go straight to Berlin afterwards? If you can, of course. You guys go to Kiel. You push here. Because if we can make a second front line against Denmark, that should alleviate this front line for... They've actually taken back Frankfurt. So Germany's actually making some progress back, which does worry me a little bit, which, I, you know, isn't surprising. Okay, so now that we've taken this location, it will immediately allow us to reposition these troops... The question is, well, one, we've gone, you guys, down to 49%. But, of course, we'll need Krakow, we'll need Prague as well. Just where do I send you guys next? Well, wait for our um, international troops to arrive, then I'll probably send you to this border. Okay, but we're only, we're one province right now away from Berlin. So we are, we're on Berlin's doorstep. Do we want it? Maybe we can push our way this way. Kiel is only worth five, but it is, you know, a straight crossing here. It's another port. There's a lot of reasons we'd want to take that city from them. Only one guy in Budapest is really not the numbers that we want. But we're going to send you there now. Still, I don't see any naval invasions. Okay, that plan has succeeded. We're getting closer and closer to the uh, the river here. But the fact that taking back Frankfurt really uh, annoys me. What if you guys push here? You guys push here. You four all push on this. Okay, you cannot. But you're going to push against this um, Bulgarian Cavalry Division. And just, just make some of this stuff work. I do know our manpower is starting to decrease more than I would like. Yeah, please send more troops to Budapest. It's a, it's a very important city that we do need. Our troops are now slowly moving our way through Austria. The thing right now is, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, realistically, quote-unquote, that if we had taken Budapest and Prague, or Budapest and uh, Vienna, all of these guys would probably just rebel against the Austrian Empire and declare their independence. But we don't live in a perfect society right now. Yeah, you were. Many governments capitulated. Against the Qing. So I think the Qing are probably going to actually win their war against um, Japan as well. Sure, armored regiment template. Basically garbage, I would say. But we'll take what we can get. How are you guys doing up here, by the way? The, that, like, the Indonesian Dutch have invaded Norway? Very strange choice, but okay. You guys are doing fine. We're almost in Munich. We do need to clean this pocket up because that's really the Entente's only front line against us at the moment. And you guys did fail in your invasion here. We got to stop failing attacks. I know that's, that's probably not a controversial statement. But we need to do better. Or really, I mean, I what I need is for all of the international troops... Not to be in Austria, but to actually be in, like, Germany, the place that it makes significantly more sense for them to be. Okay, so first things first. Whole position, actually, because we want to stretch you over two provinces. Take over Munich. Once Munich has once again been taken, maybe actually I'll then send you guys here, and your job will be to come to here, and circle all these German divisions, kill them off. That would be nice. You really are our, um, like, our frontline units. You're doing a lot of heavy lifting here, and I do really appreciate it. And I'm hoping you're actually getting decent experience. 
I mean, okay, you're actually not that experienced, all things considered. Because, yeah, Kiel is not going to fall. I could maybe get Kiel surrounded if we do something like this. Uh, follow that up with probably cat plus 10%. Yeah, definitely cat plus 10%, I think, is going to be our better option here. Yeah, you guys actually are not doing what I want you to do. But no matter what, Munich should fall in just mere moments. It's just going to take a while for the Germans to realize that they've lost the city. And now we've taken it. Delete this, hold position. U3 immediately are going to pull you up towards the north. And once British troops have entered the city, we can, I think, safely reposition you. Let's try to think, like, what's... I guess actually pushing probably through, like, Nuremberg to Prague is probably the easiest way for that to get done. Now that we've taken that city, we can go up to here. A full seven divisions. Go one, two, three. Take those cities. All you guys surrounded. Bing, bada, boom. We're doing great. And once we push into Prague, we can probably actually push our way up to Dresden and Leipzig as well. We do want to, again, push our way across the river. Send one infantry to support you. Once you've been killed, we want you to kind of reposition and take over here. I mean, Russia, the fact that Russia is losing anything. What, what flag is this? Zambia? Sure, I'm not too sure who that is, but... I want to send reinforcements here to hold the line. One Swedish division down there. Doesn't worry me so, so much. I want, like, one more division defending, um... Munich, but... For right now, I guess it's not a big deal. We've gotten you down to 45%. And that's with Frankfurt not actually being under our control anymore. It should, once we get the encirclement back up. Are you... Yeah, you guys push like this. You two come to here. You're trying to attack into us, but it's not going to work. At 61. Actually, what if you all go here instead? Now, you're at 67. You're actually going to be in multiple combats as well. And now that we're at 7, we go boop, boop, boop. With one guy going here and another one just going to there. This, this should succeed basically no problems at all. Because 7 against 1 is not the, uh, the ratios that you want if you're Germany right now. They might attack us to try to stop uh, as much pressure, but, you know, 83 is not going to be nearly enough. This does worry me, though, that the fact that the Italians are actually losing a lot of ground there. Yeah, you actually hold position now that we've crossed the, the uh, straight. Four divisions here. I could probably actually take two off. Pull you all on this side of the river. Like, I know that the Germans are... Not the Germans. I know that our allies are underperforming. We just gotta make sure we hold these areas. You two... Assault this position just in case. But, I mean, once, once you're dead, then, you know, this whole area... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can also assist in this attack. You guys push your way towards here. So we need to take Stetton. We probably might need to take our way all the way even to Danzig and Koenigsberg, depending on how things kind of shape up. I think once Ukraine loses Sevastopol, though, Russia... We're going to actually, once again, get the attache. So I'm curious to see what the Russians are actually doing. The Ukrainian front's actually completely empty. This front's actually looking pretty weak. You guys... I mean, really, Russia, this is the best position you've been in in a long, long time. That, that's all I gotta say about that. Like, this is some of the best positionings you could be having. 84. You should be killed. Because I already see our allies are starting to make moves here as well. Which is actually really nice. We Like, Berlin needs to fall. There, there's no doubt about that, of course. You're making moves here, but I don't think any of that's actually going to succeed. Yeah, and again, once that surround is done, we want to draw a probably an offensive line right here. 
By the way, can you please keep attacking here? Under no circumstance should you not be attacking into this province. I mean, Berlin? I mean, Berlin's right there. Okay, you two can probably take this province. You attack here, just make sure that they cannot uh, reinforce. And once Kiel is completely surrounded, the AI, I think, should probably begin plans to um, abandon the area. Okay, and now you guys will be surrounded, which actually means all of these Reichsback troops are very much dead. You've actually completely surrounded. Oh, fantastic. You guys are already doing exactly what I want you to do. And Frankfurt, once Frankfurt falls, because actually there's no major cities in this uh, little sphere. But once Frankfurt is gone, once, there we go. We've gone Germany down to 41%. You're worth 20. Berlin, should be noted, it is worth 50 victory points. Like, it's it's not a, uh, a nothing city. I can't believe Norway might actually lose their, uh, their war again, which is just incredibly embarrassing for them. But it's time for us to push away towards Dresden, Leipzig, and Prague using our 7 stack. And it'll also get the Austrians, I think, to alleviate a little bit of pressure off here. But this... This is bad. That's actually really bad. Um... You put pressure here, you put pressure there. And you put pressure on that front. We might even need to, um... Send some units down to... I mean, Turin hasn't fallen yet. I mean, they're actually only 50% of the way, which is less than you would think. Considering the circumstances. Yeah, and all these Reichspack troops are just... Just dead. They're just very much dead. Ukraine is capitulated. Okay, Russia. You have more front lines you got to deal with. It also lets the uh, AI have to deal with this. Wait, the clock? Really? Wait, 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 wait. Really? I did not know the Reichspact could collapse without losing Berlin. Like, th this is this is a picture of Germany. We haven't taken the city. Huh. Well then, that happened actually much sooner than I would have anticipated because I really did not see Germany falling that fast. I gotta wait for this event to load though. It's gonna take a while because I think it's, you know, kicking everybody out of the faction. It's doing all these other little tiny things, piecing people out. But we'll see. I mean, Russia has done an okay job, all things considered. I mean, they've been a good distraction. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. So who are we still at war with? We are still at war with all of Europe. Russia is still at war with the Ottoman Empire. Um, but I think that's fair enough. Um, Germany is... I mean, Austria is still in their own little faction. But Germany is at, at 41%. Like, the fact that... I'm just surprised. You also have no divisions anymore. I think they get deleted or something, probably. Because now the German government exiled now exists. And all their little states are actually not in... They're just kind of a independent. Okay, very strange. But I guess that's going to end this episode here. So thanks very much for watching. My name. So if you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not doing something down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.